the National Deposit Insurance Corporation says it remains committed in restoring public confidence and will work to ensure higher returns for investors. This submission was made at the corporation's special day celebration. Abiyah Lachalanke reports. This gathering is to mark the celebration of the National Deposit Insurance Corporation Day. It was a moment not for stock taking alone. There were performances by cultural troops and other side attractions. The event themed connecting businesses, creating value, aimed to create platforms for private public engagement. It also highlighted the possibilities that abound in interactions between producers, service providers, and end users in the sector's value chain. We are creating awareness by informing the teaming public that they should not patronize banks that are not licensed by central bank, they should not patronize banks that are not insured by NDIC. So if you go and patronize any other institutions that are not licensed by these into, uh, agencies, we are taking a risk. Stakeholders who spoke at the National Deposit Insurance Corporation Day emphasized the need for businesses, traders, artisans, farmers and other small savers to ensure that their savings are deposited in banks to avoid losses. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry commend NDIC for its efforts in deepening public confidence in promoting stability in banking industry by assuring depositors of the safety of their funds. The importance of the financial stability in the business environment cannot be overemphasized. Um, SMEs, the individuals, it's expected that um, they put their monies where they are comfortable with. And then they should also be comfortable to go to those same places to say they want to take loans because they might not just want to have or they might not have much. So they take what they have as a deficit. In the coming years, the NDIC says it will continue to work with the Central Bank of Nigeria to ensure effective supervision of banks for the overall stability of Nigeria's financial system. Abiola Sholanke, TVC News, Lagos.